The body of a valve, sometimes called the shell, is the primary pressure boundary of a valve. It serves as the principal element of a valve assembly because it is the framework that holds everything together. The body, so the first pressure boundary of a valve, resists fluid pressure loads from connecting piping. It receives inlet and outlet piping through threaded, bolted or welded joints. In our example, the piping are connected to our valve through bolted flanges. Valve bodies are cast or forged into a variety of shapes. Although a sphere or a cylinder would theoretically be the most economical shape to resist fluid pressure when a valve is open, there are many other considerations. For example, many valves require a partition across the valve body to support the seat opening, which is the throttling orifice. With the valve closed, loading on the body is difficult to determine. The valve and connections also distort loads on a simple sphere and more complicated shapes. Ease of manufacture, assembly and costs are additional important considerations. So, the basic form of a valve body typically is not spherical, but ranges from simple block shapes to highly complex shapes in which the bonnet, as highlighted here, and which is a removable piece to make assembly possible, forms part of the pressure-resisting body. Narrowing of the fluid passage is also a common method for reducing the overall size and cost of a valve. In other instances, large ends are added to the valve for connection into a larger line. The cover for the opening in the valve body is the bonnet. In some designs, the body itself is split into two sections that bolt together as depicted in our example. Like valve bodies, bonnets vary in design. Some bonnets function simply as valve covers, while others support valve internals and accessories, such as the stem, the disc, and the actuator. The bonnet is the second principal pressure boundary of a valve. It is cast or forged of the same material as the body and is connected to the body by a threaded, bolted or welded joint. In our example, the bonnet is connected to the body by a bolted joint. In all cases, the attachment of the bonnet to the body is considered a pressure boundary. This means that the weld joint or bolts that connect the bonnet to the body are pressure retaining parts. Now, valve bonnets, although a necessity for most valves, represent a cause for concern. Bonnets can complicate the manufacture of valves, increase valve size, represent a significant cost portion of the valve cost, and are a source for potential leakage. We'll see this in details further ahead.